here at the Charlevoix South Pier had lighted Charlevoix. First light in Charlevoix was at the North Pier and it was built in 1884 to guide ships into the Pine River Channel. That light started to deteriorate and then the current light was installed in 1948 on the South Pier. The lantern room from the old light was installed on the new light. Behind me, you can see that the bridge is up. This is Round Lake, which leads to Lake Charlevoix. As was the case in St. Joseph, there was an old lighthouse supply station nearby, which the Coast Guard moved into after moving from their original location just north of the North Pier. The area of the North Pier in Charlevoix is very important to us as well. That's because one of our goals during the first year of our lighthouse adventures was to complete our coastal travels of Lake Michigan from the Indiana border all the way up to the Mackinac Bridge. That entire adventure was completed at one final location, the North Pier in Charlevoix. That's why we refer to it as Chapter 10, the Charlevoix Connection. We visited this lighthouse more than any other lighthouse five times. We really love the duck. Ever since our experience with two ducks in Frankfurt, as I talk about in my video for Chapter 4, Leading a Step, we always love to spend time with ducks at lights and lighthouses. And I got some awesome rocks here. Amazing, buddy. I'm looking over here, but I can't find Another anything compared to you. Another one. What? A real one. Another one. Another one. Wow. There is a fun little park, North Point Woods Park, at the north side of Charlotte. Grandpa passed away unexpectedly while we were traveling on a ferry on our way back from Beaver Island to Charlevoix. We weren't at all surprised when that evening we came across a wounded butterfly that we named Butterbob. Maybe he should be Butterbob the butterfly. I will help you. During our travels, we have had a lot of amazing experiences with butterflies, like Flutter the butterfly, who we were able to help heal and fly off even though he had a substantial injury. Flap your wings. You can do it, butterfly. He's looking like, yeah, I can do it, yeah, I can do this. Fly, Mr. Butterfly. Fly. Flap your wings and fly and be free. Flap your wings. You can do it, Mr. Butterfly. You can do it. Me tickle. Oh. <laughs> you can do it. Fly, there he goes. Yay! Yes. Yes, he's doing it. There he goes. Yes. There was also an amazing experience with this butterfly, which was at the Awesome Lighthouse in the Upper Peninsula. 
Because we've never seen one like you before. Yeah. Right. The bug museum. You <gasps> got There it is, buddy. There's our sign for the trip. So we tried to give Butterbob all the comfort that we could, and we believe it made a difference. Okay. All of those flowers, and we are gonna bring them to Butter, so then Butter can hopefully heal his wing. Already, yeah, he already. He looks like looks like he wants that one that looks like a sunflower. There we go. It looks like Butter has gotten all of this food. Wow.